Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I want to talk about the computed properties in LiveWire. So, what are computed properties? Computed properties are a way to create derived properties in LiveWire. Like accessors on an eloquent model, computed properties allow you to access values and cache them for future access during the request. And computed properties are particularly useful in combination with public properties. Now, to create a computed property, you can add the computed attribute above any method in your LiveWire component, and once the attribute has been added to the method, you can access it like any other property. Now, in our project, I have uh, installed also the LiveWire debug bar, and let's see the queries here. We have four queries, and if I click in the next here, pagination, now we have five queries and any time we go back and forth we have five queries as you can see okay and if i refresh the page we have four queries okay so let's open the task uh, tasks list class here we have tasks here in the render we added the tasks which is equal with out user tasks paginate so we paginate by five if I open now the tasks uh, list blade and here let's make a check in this for each so I'm going to cut this and make a if statement so I'm going to check if and I'm going to say false but let's say you have uh, an if statement for something and let's end if here Let's save. So as I told you, if you have some if statement here to check for something like if the user can see the task or I don't know. And if I come here and refresh, we have four requests as you can see. But what if we create that uh, computed property. So I'm going to create a computed property here. So let's create a method first and I'm going to name it tasks. And in this one I'm going to return. So let's return what we have in the array here. So I'm going to cut and paste it here. And now remove from this array tasks and I'm going to use uh, the tasks here. So now this one, I'm going to make it computed property and we can do that by adding the computed attribute above the method. Okay, so let's add the computed attribute here and you need to import that from LiveWire's attributes computed. Now, if I open notes here so because the computer attribute has been added to the task method the value is accessible in other methods in the component and in the blade template but we must use dollar sign this in the template okay so unlike uh, normal properties computer properties aren't directly available inside your components template instead we must uh, access them on the dollar sign this object so for example, the computed property name tasks, uh, so we have here, uh, must be accessed via dollar sign this tasks inside your template. So let's do that. So I'm going to save this first and let's go on task list. And here when we make dollar sign tasks, I'm, so I'm going to say dollar sign this tasks and the same in here. Okay, save that, and now we are good to go. Let's scroll a little bit down here. Okay, as you can see here, if I refresh again, we have only two queries. Yeah, two queries. And without the computed properties, if a check is restricted from viewing tasks, the database query to retrieve the tasks has already been made. So yet the tasks are never used in the template. But with computed properties, 
Now, because we are providing the task that template use in computer property, we only execute the database query when the data is needed. So as we can see right now, it's not executed the database query because we checked if, uh, we check above here, if, and we added false. So if false, it's not executing to get these tasks. Good. Let's change that to be true and display the data. Now we have four requests. Now let's see the performance. So accessing a method as a computed property offers a performance advantage over calling a normal method. Internally, when a computed property is executed for the first time, Livewire cares the return value, and in this way, any subsequent access in the request will return the cached value instead of executing multiple times. Now, this allows us to freely access derived value and not worry about the performance implications. But we must know that the computed properties are only cached for a single request. So Livewire only cache the result for the duration of single component request. This means that if a computed property method contains an expensive database query, it will be executed every time your Livewire component performs an update. And here we have the examples for tasks. I just added the order by ID in here. Also, I have created the tasks by status uh, computed property. And I created this method, which is going to listen for the task created dispatch method. So let's copy all of them and paste in our project in task list. So let's remove this one and replace with the others. So the task, I just added the order by ID, as I told you. Then we have this tasks by status computed property, which is the same we have right here. And so now let's remove this. And let's comment this one for now. So I'm going to comment this. Now, because I created this uh, computed property tasks by status, so we need to update also the blade in here. So I'm going to say, task by status and let's copy to be equal with a dollar sign tasks by status but need, now we need to say uh, this because this is a computed property and let's see if uh, everything works correctly and everything works good now I'm going to open queries here we have four queries and let's create a new tasks I'm going to say here, submit. And it's going to create a task and we have five queries here. Okay. And the same if I come here and go to number two in the pagination, we have five queries. Go back. Also, we have five queries again. But with the computed properties, now we can change that. So let's go to task list. And we have learned that the computed properties are cached, are cached for only single request. But also we have caching between requests here. Sometimes you would like to cache the value of a computed property for the lifespan of a LiveWire component. So as we stay in the component, it's going to be cached. And LiveWire's computed attribute provides helpful persist parameters. So by applying Persist the true the method, it will continue to be cached for the duration of a, the LiveWire component on the page. So, as this component is going to remain in this page, it's going to be cached if we use the persist the true. And uh, LiveWire cache persist values for uh, 3600 seconds, one hour, but you can override this default by passing an additional seconds parameter to the computed attribute, so like this. But I'm going to leave it as it is, I'm going to just add persist the true. And I'm going to add that in the tasks by status. So here I'm going to say persist to be true. And let's save this one. And as I told you, every time we 
go back and forth in the pagination, we had five queries. Okay, let's clean everything. Okay, we have four queries. Now let's uh, navigate to the second pagination here. Pagination number two, if I click, as you can see, we have only four queries, not five anymore. And so this uh, count component is going to remain cached because we added persist the true and task by status we added in the tasks count. So it's going that is going to remain as it is. But what uh, if I also, I'm going to leave like this, if I create a component, a task, sorry, take a look here. We have one in started, four in progress, and three done. If, uh, and I'm going to zoom out just because I want to remain here, one, four, three, if I click submit, now task created, but here we have one, four, three again. And if I scroll down, we have nine results, but in the count component, we have all of eight. So one, four, three. And that's it because we have cached the tasks by status. But I want to change that. And for that, let's now remove this. I have created this method, which is going to listen for the task created this past event. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to say unset this das, uh, task by status. So use the uh, PHP onset method. And with that now, when the task is created, we are going to reset the cache of Laravel. So let's come here. Let's refresh. Now we have two, four, three. So we have nine altogether. And if I create a task, task created, and also here we have 10 now, four, three, three. So we updated the count only when we create the tasks, but not when, if I refresh again, not uh, when we navigate between the pagination. So we have four queries and let's navigate the number two here. We navigate the number two and we have only four queries as you can see. Okay. Now let's see one more time. So caching across all components. So instead of caching the value of a computed property for the duration of a single components lifecycle, you can cache the value of a computer across all components in your application using the cache through parameter provided by the computer attribute. So we can add the cache to be true. And until the cache expires or is pushed, every instance of this component in your application will share the same cached value. And uh, if you need to manually clear the cache for a computed property, you may set the custom cache key using the key parameter, which is very helpful. And then we can say somewhere else in your app, you may clear the cache for that property by saying cache forget and passing the key name here. Okay, friends, that's it now all about this video. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.